Welcome to Stories with Lori. We are reading Aesop's Sables by Jerry Pickney. The story we're reading today is Androcles and the Lion. Androcles was a slave who suffered under a cruel and vicious master. Although Androcles worked from sunrise to sunset, his master gave him scarcely enough food to live on and had him beaten time and time again. At last, Androcles made up his mind to run away into the woods. Even if I'm killed by a wild beast, he thought, it would be better than this. And he slipped away into the forest. When night was about to fall, a strange sound suddenly reached his ears, a moaning and whimpering, as if one nearby were in pain. As he peered around the trees, he gasped and stood frozen in the shadow of the trees. For what he saw was a lion. The lion was licking his paw with a great tongue and gnawing at it with his sharp teeth. Looking closer, Androcles saw that a long, sharp thorn had buried itself deep in the lion's paw. Why, it's hurt he thought with pity, forgetting his fear. Careful not to alarm the animal, Androcles crept toward the lion. He gently took hold of the injured paw, pulled the thorn out, and then bound up the wound with a bandage torn from his cloak. The lion licked Androcles' hand in gratitude, and from that moment on, they were friends. Every day the lion went hunting and brought back fresh meat for Androcles to eat. And every night Androcles slept safely in the lion's den. But one day as the lion was out in the forest, he was trapped by a band of hunters. And that same day, Androcles was captured by some soldiers who were passing through the forest. His punishment for running away from his master Androcles was taken to the city where he was to be thrown to the lions. When the day of Androcles' execution arrived, even the emperor came to the crowded arena to watch. The soldiers dragged Androcles into the arena and left him there. What a wretched life, Androcles thought in despair. Those days I spent in the forest with the lion were the only happy ones. Then the soldiers released the lion. Androcles shut his eyes in dread, expecting to be torn limb from limb, but no tooth or claw touched him. When Androcles opened his eyes in amazement, he saw his own lion crouched happily at his feet. Androcles laughed with joy as he knelt to embrace his friend. Much astonished, the emperor called out, who is this slave who can tame lions? Androcles rose and bowed to the emperor. My lord, he said, I was able to do this lion a kindness and he has repaid me with greater loyalty than I've ever found in the world of women and men. And he told the emperor his story. Impressed with Androcles' courage and compassion, the emperor pardoned him and set him free. Androcles and the lion returned to the forest where they lived happily together for the rest of their days. For more stories with Lori, click the subscribe button below. Have a great day.